your sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your weekly. It's our weekly read, the 12th through the 18th is what I'm reading for. And there that went. <laughs> I'm really not getting that because that, no, I'm not, I'm not getting that. I'll get one more. I'm not getting that. It's under stuff and it's, it's gone. <laughs> Boldness. Don't take this lying down, Virgo. Get up and fight, but fairly. A fight will be remembered because of the respect and dignity that you bring to this battle. Fight. Be bold. Be the queen of wands energy, Virgo. Love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to receive love, it will flow into your soul. Trust. Don't trust what you are being told. There is more to this situation the answers lie within the finer details, which are not being shared with you right now. Reassessment. Time to take another look at this situation. There are many possibilities. However, each possibility might lead you to the same uh, outcome. So you have nothing to lose here is what the message is. You have nothing to lose. Nice. We have financial health from the bottom before I even shuffle. So Virgo, let's get you a spell casting card. For your week coming up, ask your spirit guys and angels who are always invited to these readings to help assist with messages for your greater good. Spell casting deck, please give us messages for Virgo. What can they look forward to during ooh, their week? Gosh, these things are just not wanting to cooperate today. So let's see what you got. You got talent and you got light in your load. So you are carrying a whole lot on you at this time. Um, heavily burdened, doing much of the lifting. Feels like a breaking back maneuver, whatever you're trying to do here. So talent. What about talent here? This is something that you should probably pick up on. What is your talent? What are you good at? Maybe it's saying to use your talent in something that you like to work. You like be becoming um, a person who does what they love for what they work, for what they work, for when they work, um, having a job they really love. So not working a day in their life, right? Lighten your load, lighten your load, get some help, get some assistance here. All right, Virgo, let's see what kind of cards the Psychic Tarot is going to spit out for you. And then we're going to get started on your tarot reading for the week of July 12th through the 18th. Thanks, guys, so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all the support. I just want to send my love back out there to you. Gosh, I'm flinging cards all over the place today. <laughs> all right, we have Destiny, the Will of Fortune card. That's great. Number 10 to completion. It's time for a new chapter, one that you can sit in for a little while and receive love. Four of Wands with the um, foundation and achievements. Foundation achievements, but this is Four of Wands. And the cosmic gift to come, the rainbow, the promise of a better, brighter day and a brighter tomorrow forever. A talent, that's so strange. Talent and lighten your load ended up on top of this. Oh, nine of pentacles. Guys, seriously, you can lighten your load and you can tap into some extra money if you use your talent to get it. Because right here, benefiting others, what benefits you is gonna benefit others. You are here for your material harvest. This is your nine of pentacles. You are getting what you wanted. Let's do one more. I don't like it kind of empty with that little hole there. So one more for Virgo. Good reading. Oh, I knew that was here. We got Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning. It can be meeting somebody, feeling that desire, the passion. This can be about, wow, 
you follow some kind of thing, a creativity, a spark of creativity, and there you go with your Nine of Pentacles, financial windfall, inheritance, winning, lottery. I mean, a lot of things. This is <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. This energy Ace. like truly is amazing. This Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands here, it is actually going to be what helps you lighten your load. Whatever you create based on what you're passionate about, based on your talents, plus, plus your talents are going to be improving. There's a brand new Wheel of Destiny. What is destined to be yours cannot be changed and there's that six of pentacles, more success. I mean, this is a really, really good reading. Six of pentacles, it might be a court situation. If it is, that's good in that that light. And then also making something balanced, being able to give back. Um, you know what I mean? Give and take, giving to charity, giving back after you've gotten something. Um, helping others and, and them helping you when you need it. The challenge is the love. Where is the love? It's about reciprocation too, okay? I think you're waiting on something that it would come it that will come in with this ace of cups. I just don't think it's here. And I think sometimes we look to the past to think that it's maybe in that past opportunity, but that's not the truth there. Okay, at the base or the root of this, the base or at the root. I have the three of cups your passion your ace of passion new beginning you might meet this person while you're out partying drinking celebrating with friends making memories nostalgia thinking about past times past times gone by let me put these over here so i can have that room there we go okay well look at that and the wheel of fortune on the bottom oh my gosh Good reading. Past energy, Virgo. Past energy. What do we have? Oh my gosh. You like have one, two, three. Three aces so far. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity about how far you've come and where, where you are at meeting your goals, your milestones, why there needs to be a lot of participation in the success and the celebration of the success, which is exactly what you're going to do. And that is the abundance. It's like representing abundance too. Okay, the present energy is like this card. It is the Ten of Wands. It is caring too much. You're going to get exhausted. You're going to get burned out. So... Watch out for that. Watch out for exhaustion and burnout. Let people help. Let the money help. Okay, near future energy. Knight of Cups. That, that's the offer. And that might be that Ace of Cups, which you're waiting to come in. It could be an offer for you know, a new love interest. It could be a new job. Whatever this is, it's an offer that has this loving uh, everlasting loving feeling like thank you this is my new chapter and it's going to be lovely okay how do you feel you feel like it's about time karma spun for you because you've made you've paid up your dues you've got good karma points to spend now and it's evident that it's time okay that could be libra in the outside circumstance in your environment what's in your environment virgo what's in your environment Two of Cups, maybe good partnerships, maybe not, you know, because it's like this. Um, maybe a partnership is going to be affected by your increase in financial wealth, ability, your Ace of Wands, the passion ignited, could be a new flame, a new fling, or whatever you want to call it, but I feel like it's related to true love because it is the Two of Cups. So that's going to come out good too. <laughs> Good partnerships. It might be what you decide to accept with this Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And the hopes and fears. Oh, no, that's too many. Okay, so the hopes and fears are that you're going to lose drive and motivation because I clearly saw the two of wands in the reverse. And justice, something's going to clear up some karma. By clearing up karma and letting go of energy of uh, this deceit energy, lying, cheating, stealing, letting go could be a court issue. Uh, something's going to be let go, though. This is going to be let go or forgiven here. 
Okay, so what is the outcome or the projected outcome? Page of Pentacles, why it's in reverse? I don't know, maybe because you're waiting still. Okay, anything else for the outcome? Oh, people might argue, people might be conflicted over what looks to be like a good choice or a good partnership. It could be twin flame energy here too. You're still waiting on the Page of Pentacles, the news of a new beginning. You may be still waiting for someone to do something regarding a new beginning or waiting on a decision. Could be waiting on a decision because people are arguing and uh, not agreeing. So you might be waiting on that decision. Okay, let's get another card for this outcome so I can get more information. <laughs> can I get it off here? The, how, the, how the scales are balanced and the truth coming out, you're going to be in control of a lot of this situation, like the outcome. It's the magician energy. King of Cups, maintain your cool. Maybe go to somebody if you're having mood issues, being able to control your mood. Um, or this could be you, being very somebody being very diplomatic here. This could be you or somebody being diplomatic with you. Um, compassionate, forgiving. It could be new love coming into your life too that you're manifesting. Wow. <sighs> Okay, five, 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 within a true love partnership, possibly, and letting go of this hurtful, deceitful energy. It says, um, five, 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 a major shift is about to come into your life and change your life's path direction. Be open and stay positive. Be open, stay positive. Anything else? Angel number messages. Oh my gosh, really? Five, five. I've had so many crazy numbers today. Mainly eights, like what's on the bottom of your deck. I'm successful. Five, 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 five. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, your love for others is powerful, and you're able to spread your gift of support, support far and wide. You have a social, like a curious social nature, and you're being asked to share your words of wisdom. And it says, I am wise, which you always gain from experience, so you are wise. You are optimistic, okay? This major shift is coming, but you need to be positive and roll with these curveballs, so you are optimistic. All right, Virgo, let's get you some tea leaves and see how they're going to wrap up this reading. It was an interesting reading. I can't wait to do the next one, actually, for you all or for the monthly just to see hey, what is going on. What is going on? Some kind of dramas going on with Virgo. Let's see. Mountain, a major challenge to overcome. Major challenge to overcome. Maybe a reassessment of looking at a situation casket someone going out of your life or the end of a situation may need to lighten your load tent this is a temporary situation the fives of course that's just the transition key successful outcome to your problems successful outcome to your problems staff you will be taken care of in difficult times in this temporary situation that rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross i don't know who that's representing to you but rooster cat a two-faced friend maybe that's what you need to reassess older man dealings relationship with older man and feather someone you know is undependable and insincere it's related to this rooster maybe you know somebody was born in the year of the rooster that could be something and then scissors, disappointment in some affair. All right, Virgo, interesting reading. I will post this and then definitely look forward to your monthly reading. Join me for the uh, next 48-hour reading, and I'll give you an update on these readings. Find out what else is going on so you're not hanging. All right, sending you love and light. Bye, Virgo.